Star Wars Armada Explained. I'm Karnak. Welcome back. Today we're going to look at an Imperial Commander, Admiral Salone. So how do you know she's a commander? If you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you'll see she has no icon upgrade uh, uh, visible there. Uh, meaning she can be equipped to any ship except flotillas. She's faction-specific to Empire only, which you can see the Empire symbol there next to her point cost, which is 24. If you look in front of her name, you'll see a bullet point signifies that she is unique. You can only bring one of her in your fleet. Her ability reads, while a friendly squadron without rogue is attacking, it may spend one die with an accuracy icon to choose and spend one of the defender's defense tokens. While attacking a ship, it may also re-roll one die with a critical icon. She does have one clarification. It reads, A token spent by this card's effect cannot be spent by the defender during that attack. The defender can spend another token of the same type during that attack. What does that mean? So, uh, when she initially was released, there was some confusion about how she works. She's pretty hashed out now. But um, before I get into explaining your ability and all that and about the clarification, let's read something from the rules reference real quick about defense tokens. As we know, the defender can spend defense tokens. And where did her ruling come about about the fact about uh, you know why a defend why a token that was spent cannot be used by the defender? Um, well, let's read it. So defense tokens begin. Uh, you know, obviously all readied, um, and if they get spent, then they get flipped to exhausted, if they get spent again, then they get discarded. So, the defender, it says right here in defense tokens, it says the defender cannot spend more than one defense token of each type per attack. Uh, a defense token cannot be spent more than once during an attack. So why, um, as to why you can't spend a token... Uh, even if it's already been spent by Sloan's ability, well, it says right there, a token cannot be spent more than once during an attack. doesn't matter if an attacker spent it or a defender spent it. In this situation, the defender didn't get to choose to spend it because the attacker, in this case Sloan, chose to spend it for the defender. And when it's spent by the attacker, um, as it's stated in the FAQ, it doesn't get the benefit of providing its corresponding result. And it even states that again right here. Defense tokens spent as part of a cost for an upgrade card's effect, if spent in this way, a defense token does not produce its normal result. So even though it was already spelled out in the rules reference, they clarified that in the FAQ specifically, stating that um, a defender, even if it was, for example, spent by attacker, the defender then couldn't then spend that token and get rid of it completely to utilize its results because again as it states here token cannot be spent more than once during an attack okay so I want to make sure I was going over that for defensive tokens because again that's where a lot of confusion with Reese, with Salone comes into effect now Salone only works with squadrons she doesn't work with ships at all um, so if you're bringing her and you don't have any squadrons choose a different commander <laughs> so she works best with ships, or excuse me, she works best with squadrons that not only throw a blue die when they're doing anti-squad, but blue die when they're doing anti-ship. The biggest problem with TIE defender, or excuse me, TIE interceptors and TIE fighters is, of course, when they go to bomb enemy ships, you know, they only have a 50-50% chance of actually doing damage. So in their case, for these generic fighters now, or anything that's throwing just a single blue die, um, they're all almost always producing a result. And you definitely know if you roll that critical icon um, and you're forced, you know, you, when you do get a reroll, I mean, you have a much higher chance of at least getting a hit or an accuracy. Um, so these squadrons are great because not only when they attack squadrons, they have a chance to spend squadrons on, uh, on enemy fighters they attack, but also ships. There definitely has been an occasion where I've used the Wonder Twin Wombo combo of, you know, Merrick Steel and Jendon to do two attacks on an enemy ship and completely strip its brace off in those two attacks. Because remember, Merrick Steel rolls two blues when attacking. And in this situation, this is perfect because 
with Merrick Steel's ability, you can set that to one damage. You can spend that accuracy. Again, when you spend, you remove it completely. Um, you can spend that exhaust. So now it's been spent. And you still do one damage, and then you fall up again. And again, you got the perfect roll again. You spend that accuracy, and then boom. You've completely stripped that brace off with just one squadron. Now your Star Destroyer, when it goes to shoot this MC-80, all it can do is redirect. It can't, it can't brace attacks anymore. So it makes Salone very effective at killing ships that rely on their brace to really reduce damage. Um, or if, you know, if they rely on redirects or evades or what have you, you, know, you can target those defense tokens according to your need. Even when you're on offense, when you're attacking you know, an enemy fighter ball, for example. Um, we'll say, you know, Barrack Steel's trying to attack Biggs. He rolls his two blue and two black. And he, you know, he didn't get his, uh, the accuracy there, for example. But what can you do? Like, for example, what can and does happen, let's say he rolled a double accuracy on the enemy fighter. So not only can you spend, because again, when you spend, you cancel one die. You spend one of his braces for him. He can't use it. You can now use your other regular accuracy to lock the other green defense token, and now he is forced to take two damage from that. Because uh, again, you spent the one token. You don't need an ac you don't need to accuracy it. You spend it for the attacker. He can't use it. If you have another accurate result, you then also lock down the other token. He can't use it. This is why tie defenders, excuse me, tie def interceptors are fantastic with Salone. Because not only if they pop up and roll their four blue die, especially if they have the ability, whoop, especially if they have the ability to, you know, re-roll with Swarm, you know, in that situation, they didn't get the accuracy, but they're still rolling high damage. Let's say if the other guy comes in, rolls his four blue, and, you know, and then swarms, and hey, you know, that's still enough damage to essentially knock Biggs out, or if you're targeting Jan Ors. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if you are targeting enemy fighters and if Jan Ors is nearby and within range of her ability, remember she can still spend her defensive tokens to reduce damage. Okay? Because you can't target her defense tokens if you're not shooting at her. So even if you've locked down Biggs's defense tokens and you're otherwise, you know, shooting at him, she can always spend a defense token from herself to help rescue some of her other other pals, especially like A Wings and such. Uh, which have the lower health, but, you know, like Tycho's got that scatter. Anyway, so that is how Sloan's ability worked. Now, remember, it is for any squadron attack. So if any of these uh, enemy squadrons shoot at your ships and you have counter, remember you're rolling that one blue die for counter. If they got Dengar around or if they're TIE Interceptors, they get a natural counter of two, which, again, you can, if they're in range of Swarm, they can reroll. Um, so you have a chance to strip you know, defensive tokens not only when you attack, but also when you counter. Um, so she just really helps make Imperial Squadrons, you know, be a little bit more effective in the squadron game, and then still effective when they go to bomb enemy ships. So there's no other, like, crazy interactions with Salone. Just remember, she doesn't work with squadrons that have Rogue. Also... You know, you lose a lot of value with her ability if you're using squadrons that only throw black die, either with anti-squadron, or if they are have an anti-ship die with a black die. Like, for example, TIE Advanced with her are kind of pointless, because they throw black die for anti-ship, um, which obviously has a little bit higher chance of being a, a singular damage, but when you're wanting that accuracy to try to strip defensive tokens... You want to bring ships with that blue die, which means you know you don't see a lot of use from TIE Advanced. Uh, TIE Bombers are never brought with Salone, or they can be, but again, you're not getting that full benefit of a card. A lot of people like to bring TIE Defenders because they're, they're, should they really get pumped up by Salone's ability for being able to do anti-squad and anti-ship. The biggest drawback to Salone is the fact that since you're, you're only utilizing the ships that only throw just the one anti-ship die, uh, you typically find that while you may win the squadron game, you're not winning the ship-to-ship -ship battles uh, as effectively in most situations. Because again, it's not increasing your damage or potential damage output of squadrons. It's just helping 
um, your squads have a better ability to contribute in some form or fashion. I mean, it's great in the example I showed you where I stripped that brace off that MC-80, uh, you know, essentially right off the bat. Uh, but you can't always expect or rely on that. Now, a lot of people will bring an ISD with the Avenger title, so that way you can flip multiple tokens, and then Avenger, when it shoots, remember, um, defenders can't use exhausted defense tokens for the one attack that Avengers get triggered on it. So they're useful in that regard, but again, typically with Salone, you have to bring a lot of squadrons to fully maximize her ability, and then if you're doing that, you know, potentially your your ship the ship uh, ability is suffering because again you're not bringing any bombers other than you know for example Merrick Steel if you're bringing a bunch of TIE Defenders um, sure they got high hole and they're fast but you can't bring very many of them you know so there's definitely a lot of pros and cons to Salone also keep in mind that Salone what's a counter to heavy squads well that's slicer tools so she gets shut down hardcore by slicer tools with the one exception of the you know like the Quasar Fire uh, pursuant title, which allows you to discard the pursuant title to activate a squadron command. She's great with that, um, but again, shut down by slicer tools. So you got to make sure that you have an a, a way to negate slicer tools or have a plan for it, but also means if you go shooting after flotillas of slicer tools, you're not going after main combat ships or other, you know, potentially heavy hitting squadrons other than have free reign to go shoot your ships. But Salone is, for I would say for a new player, Salone is the place to start. Um, she's, she's a fantastic commander. A lot of people like running her. She's got a lot of pros, but again, also has cons. But there's no other crazy interactions with her. Uh, nothing else that I feel like that needs to be pointed out. Um, but of course, if you feel like anything's an error or something is missing or wrong, please be sure to comment, let me know. I appreciate you guys watching these videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.